Hey, welcome guys. We are in GR270, Computer Imaging for the Print Industry, and we're working in our new first textbook, which is Adobe Illustrator Creative Cloud Revealed by Chris Botello, and we are in Chapter 5. And in this chapter, we're working with layers. So this first example that I am going to do uh, with you is creating a new layer, and we need to make sure Illustrator is activated. And we're going to go to File and Open. And we're going to navigate to where our um, data files are. And we are going to, let's see, where are we here? Look for Chapter 5. And in Chapter 5, we are going to look for 5-1, which is right here, and open it. Then I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so we can view it side by side. And then the next thing I'm going to do, because I've been working in Illustrator quite a little bit, I am going to go up here and say Reset Essentials, which is going to put back all of my little panels where they belong. I'm going to move my toolbox over here, do a Command-0 to fit that um, artboard into my, into my window. And then we're going to do a file, and we're going to save as. And we're going to save this as living room. Underscore your name. All right. And then we're going to open up 5-2 and save it as Showroom. So we're going to go to File and Open. And again, navigate out to where our data files are. And we're going to save this as Showroom. Let's save it out. All right, now we are going to get the selection tool, which is the black tool, and the quick key is V, like Victor, and we're going to choose the chair, and then we're going to copy it. And then if you look up here, we have both the um, living room as well as the showroom files open, and you can see them on the little file uh, tabs up here. We're going to click on living room to activate the living room document and you can see that's activated it and using the window menu um, and actually you can go up to window and this will allow you to switch between whichever um, <coughs> document open document you choose to switch from that's also where you would find open documents and then we're going to click on the layers panel icon And you'll see that the Layers panel shows two layers. Uh, one is the empty room layer, and then uh, the objects on the foreground layer are currently hidden. So we're going to create a new layer button on the Layers panel, which is right here. A new layer named Layer 3 appears above the foreground layer. It should have, but I didn't have the foreground layer highlighted. So I can just click and drag to move it above the foreground layer if I choose to do that. And then we are going to make sure, again, that it's highlighted. And we're going to go to Edit and Paste. And the chair artwork is now pasted into Layer 3. So we're going to position the chair on the artboard as shown in Figure 3. So I'm going to close this out. And then I'm going to, with the Selection tool, click and drag to position that as it is. I think we need to have it over just a little bit. trying to position it like they've got it and you'll see they have two doors panels showing and I wonder if maybe they sized it a little bit or moved it out here to the front a little bit too. 
Okay, regardless, let's move on. And you'll see again that the chair is positioned on its own layer, which is here. Now we're going to double click the words layer three. Yeah. Remember the trouble I have with my layer. All right, so normally if your double click is working correctly with the software, layer three would highlight like it is here. Since it wasn't, I just went to layer options and brought the same uh, dialog box up. And we are going to name this chair. And then on the color list arrow, we're going to click brick red. And then you're going to click OK. And you'll note that the selection marks on the chair, these are the selection marks along with the bounding box, are now red, reflecting the new selection color for the chair layer. So you see each one of these colors here reflects a color that is for a selection on that particular layer, which really makes it nice because if I am selected something on the artboard, for example, just that little line on the wood floor, you'll see that this is highlighted, which tells me that that particular ob object or image is on that layer. I'm sure it's down here a ways, but there you see it right there. So that's another way, a nice way to be able to, easy way to be able to select and identify where your objects are that you're selecting. Now we're going to deselect the chair and everything else. And then we are going to click the chair again with the selection tool. And you'll see that the selected art icon appears on the layers panel, which is what I just showed you just a moment ago, but it's here. That identifies the layer of a selected object. And we're going to deselect the chair and that then nothing appears in this targeted area because we've deselected it. If you press Alt if you're on a Windows and Option if you're on a Mac and then click the chair layer, again that's another way to select the artwork on a particular layer. Now we're going to click either of the two mauve walls in the illustration. I don't know if that looks like mauve to you, but to me that looks like, uh, I don't know, peach or some color. But anyway, we'll go with what they say. When an object is selected on the artboard, um, the layer on which the selected object is placed is highlighted on the layers panel and you'll see that as well. Now the lock icon appears on the empty room layer. Let's see, does it really? Okay, double click the empty room layer, click the empty lock icon, then click OK. Shoot, we're going to have to do it again. Dang that double click, not working. <laughs> All right, so we're going to open up the options for the empty room. And you'll see this lock, I, this lock. And then we're going to click OK. And you'll see that the empty room is locked. Now, if you chose to un unlock it, just click on that lock icon to either lock or unlock. That's the easiest way to do that. All right, now we are going to double click on the foreground layer. You're going to double click. I'm going to bring up the options for the foreground layer. And we are going to click on grass green. Or, uh, grass green. I thought I was saying that wrong. Grass green. Click the show checkbox and then click OK and you'll see that a couple of things happen. The eyeball is now visible and the items that are on that layer are also visible.
The eye and the lock icons appear as empty gray squares in their off states. So again, if the foreground, if the lock is off and the eye, the visibility is off, they just look like empty squares. But if you click on, that's the way you tell that they're visible and that they're locked or unlocked. We are going to click the empty lock icon box on the foreground layer, which I just did, and the lock icon appears. We're going to click the eye icon on the foreground layer to hide the objects. And your layers panel should resemble figure seven or mine on the screen. Now you want to do a command or control S. And we're done with this particular part of the lessons. All right, and I've probably taken up a little bit of time now, maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So I am going to save this out and upload it for the, um, um, I did, my internet is slow today, so it's going to take a little while to upload it. And I will do another couple of demos over the next couple of hours, maybe even in tomorrow morning, depending on how long it takes to upload these individual demos. I'll see you back in a few minutes.